Hi, I'm Michael and I want to build a guitar body. In fact, I want to build three. Three bodies? Are you crazy? In one video? Now I have to edit a video about three bodies and I have to keep it interesting all the way through? I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just saying, next time, think ahead before you just blurt out three bodies, three bodies. All right, continue. First of all, I need a guitar body template. And I made this in my previous video. If you haven't seen that, you can go back later and watch it and see how to make your own body template. Then I need the wood. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I love to work with old wood. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to use this wood right here. This is from a building built in 1808 when Napoleon was emperor of France. And two years before Beethoven wrote Für Elise, you know, nee, 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 nee. you know that one? Two years before Beethoven wrote that, this building was built. So this is super old, nice pine wood. The other guitar body I'm going to build is from this wood right here. This wood is from an old building in the middle of Copenhagen that was getting renovated, and this was outside. This area of Copenhagen is from around 1750. I'm of course not sure when this wood is from, but it's definitely old because nobody makes floorboards like this anymore. This is five and a half centimeters thick. So this is some heavy duty floorboards and this is pine as well. This is filled with wormholes and cracks and I love that. I'm going to have fun with that. For all of you who don't appreciate this old wood, I'm going to use this one over here. This is a little surprise and I'm going to get into that just in a second and show you what that is. So this is 37 centimeters wide. So to make a body blank where I can cut out this shape, I need to glue glue two pieces of wood together like this. And that presents its own challenges because this side of the wood has to be totally straight. So I tried to straighten it out by hand and it didn't work. When some one thing was straight, the other thing was not. And I tried and I tried until this piece actually is too, it's not wide enough anymore. So I had to go to a professional and he had the right machines. He ran it through his machines, took 10 minutes. The result is over here. Let me show you. This wood is the wood with the wormholes in there. I think it's amazing. I want to have fun with that. I'm, I thought about putting some uh, super glue with pink color in there maybe. And as you can see, there's a lot of wormholes in the, this piece right here, but not so much in the end and not so much over here. So the good thing about that is there's integrity in the wood right here to, to hold the pull of the strings. I think it's going to work. I don't know, we'll see. And then there's the other one over here. And this is the old wood from 1808. Uh, he didn't really grind this part down and that's not necessary because again, I'm going to cut out the neck pocket and I'm going to cut out right here for the pickups. So I'm getting rid of this. This is all underneath the pick guard. So now I'm going to show you this one over here. When I tried to straighten the wood by hand and I couldn't do it, I panicked a little bit. So I went online to find some place to buy a body blank and I found this company in uh, Portugal. Uh, it's called Guitar and Wood GW. No, guitarsandwoods.com. And I asked them if they want to sponsor this channel by giving me a body blank. And they said, yeah, we want to do that. So they actually sent me this one right here. Whoa, that's nice. You see that? That is some tight bond original glue, a template for a P90. Check it out. Swamp Ash. It's glued from three pieces and it's very, very hard to see where it's glued. Can you see? Oh yeah. You can see it at the end right here. But you wouldn't even think of it over here almost. What a nice piece of wood. The body fits it exactly. That's maybe a millimeter on each side. Okay, so that's the third body. I'm going to put this aside 
For now, I'm going to glue these two other bodies of the old wood. I have a little investment I made to, to do this. My goal today is to get these two glued up. I don't know, maybe I should glue the other one tomorrow. So I could glue this one now. Let's do that. That's it, now I just have to wait. And I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow. So it's about 20 hours later. It's a little rainy out. I have my coffee and I can't wait to see how my first body blank is doing. Let's check it out. There you go. Let's go, let's pull off the clamps. Here you go. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> okay, that's something I have to take care of. A lot of squeeze out, but that shouldn't be a big problem. So this is my first body blank from the old wood with the wormholes. This is so much fun. I'm going to have fun with that. So now let's do the second body blank. These are very nice. When you put the, the wood down here, it's just, it just stays there. And let me see. I'm trying to get an idea of how I'm going to place the template on the body blank. Maybe I want to avoid this knot. There's a big chunk missing here. Let's avoid that as well. Maybe if you, you've seen this uh, groove I have in both of them. But uh, I have that in the other guitars I made from this wood as well. That's because it's floorboards, of course. But uh, that's no problem. It works fine. I think that's how I'm going to glue it. So if I'm putting a marker there and there. flush here and here but uh, not so much here because this piece is going a little down right there but all the way here is very nice okay maybe I can tighten it a little bit more that's it so now this just has to dry now I can attend to this body blank right here I'm ready to cut out the shape but before I do that I have to clean up this mess right here so let me just do that so I've just cleaned up a little in here and now I'm ready to place the template on the body uh, blank and to cut it out let's do that <laughs> So I can see the pencil line and that's what I'm going to go by, but I just, I just want to show you the patterns in the wood. 
from the worms. It almost looks like some kind of ancient writing or something like that. I think this is a, a sign. It's not bad. <clears throat> what you have to be aware of when cutting with the jigsaw is that this blade can bend. So if I push the jigsaw to the side like that, I'm risking that the cut is not going straight down but inwards and that would be a problem. So I'm letting the blade do its own work and I'm very cautious not to push it to the side. Trying not to go too close to the line, that's what the router is for. I just have to tell you that this smells very nice. Another thing I want to mention with the, the, the jigsaw, you steer the jigsaw by controlling the back here because otherwise you may you know, push the blade and then it won't go straight down. Now I just need to cut this part over there. I have to say it again, it just smells amazing. I love this old wood. Would be such a shame just, just to burn it. Now I just need this last part right here. And that's it. I think I cut almost straight down. I really hope I did. Of course a bandsaw would be preferable but uh, I don't have that and I know a lot of you out there don't have that either. So a jigsaw is possible to use. I've used it before. I love it. it. It looks amazing and I love the wood. It's really nice. Meanwhile the other body blank out here is still drying and I guess it has to dry until tomorrow. So now I'm ready to use my least favorite power tool, the router. I actually hate using it but this time I bought this router bit right here hey. so I got interrupted a few days have passed and now I'm ready to route out this body it's 10 a.m. and uh, I am just out of bed and ready to get going it's not that I always sleep that late, it's just, you know, I have work at night, so that's why, just so you know. I think actually I'm going to do it out here, but in the meantime, the other body blank is done uh, and it has been drying for days now. So let's just release that, put that in here, and then we can route out here. Let's do that. Looks good. I'm putting that in here. And like that. So that's it and the router bit. I bought this router bit. There's a link in the description if you want to buy something like that. It was pretty cheap. Four router bits like this and then you know shorter. Uh, I don't know if they're good quality so just uh, watch this video and see if it works or not what happened with my latest this is just an example I'm using my router bits I didn't know anything about it and I burned kind of all of them and I even got a pretty expensive one and it's just not sharp anymore it's burned because I'm going too fast so that's something I learned uh, don't go too fast with the router bit I bought this router bit because I want to be able to take the whole body in one pass and this is just the thing that can do that. So uh, let's get set up and get ready to route.
I'm actually ready to go. I just need some earplugs and something for the eyes. What just happened there? Major fail! Oh man, I just ruined my template. Oh. And my body. It released. This one, this one released. Okay. That's not good. This wasn't quite what I hoped for. I made a dent right here in the body and in the template. Stupid. I feel this doesn't really work. Let me try something else. So now I've installed a smaller bit. Let's see if that makes it any easier. Okay, that's much better, much smoother. All right, so the whole idea of going one pass uh, doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. Okay. That's so much easier. failure first of all this one moved that's not good this one over here it released like this oh man i i have there's no power just this one wasn't tight enough but uh, that's part of the fun you know correcting your own mistakes i keep saying that i've clamped it down now and i'm ready to take off this edge with this router bit right here <laughs> So that's it. I cut the body and I made mistakes. Uh, the worst mistake I feel is this bump right here. If you, I don't know if you can see that. I actually ruined my template as well right here. So that was that's really annoying. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good. I had a thought. I shouldn't have taken off the material right here because what if the neck heel is a little wider than this? Then I have a problem. So I should have left some material right here so I could take it out by hand. I will do that on the other two bodies I'm going to make. But right now I'm going to make a round over edge and I'm going to make a belly cut and an armrest. <laughs> Okay, not bad.
It's another beautiful day and I can't wait to get back to work on my guitar body. I have my coffee, it's super hot and it's super nice. Where I left off with this body is I rounded over the edges. The question is, should I make an armrest on a belly cut? I actually asked you guys in a short video and a lot of you said yes and I'm going to do that. I have my other two body blanks ready to go, but I think maybe I should work a little more on this one. So if I make mistakes, I can correct them later because actually I feel it's a little small, this body right here. But when I compare it to, you know, Novo guitars, it's absolutely bigger, but not that much longer actually. But if I compare the size to a Tele size, as you can see, it's a little wider than the teal and it's actually the same length as a teal. So um, it shouldn't be a small guitar. Okay, let's just try to draw something. I think that's enough uh, drawing. Time to go for the power tools. That's it for now for the arm rest. How does it look? What do you think? Now let's draw the belly cut. I definitely have a belly to measure it against. This is so stupid. You can't really believe how stupid this is. Drawing the belly cut on the front side. That is too much. So the belly cut is going on the back side. what I think I want to take off. Let's do that. But please don't tell anybody about this. That's it, let's go with the power tool. So let's check it out, the belly cut and the armrest. Definitely better than before, absolutely. Especially the belly cut is nice. Could take a little more over here, maybe. Okay, so that's it. Now I have a nice armrest and the belly cut. 
on the back side as well. Stop everything. I just received this package. Can't wait to see what's in it. This is from Guitar Anatomy. Tuning machines. Wrap around bridge. Black P90s. There you go. Rosewood fingerboards, stainless steel frets, flamed roasted maple from Guitar Anatomy. It's like a 3D effect. I like that, that's so nice. And this is going to work with the body like this somehow. And one more thing, I bought this TC Spark Boost with True Bypass and I'm going to build this into the guitar. So let's just see how it looks inside. I don't know how yet, but I'll get there. I wanna see that to believe it. But this video is almost 30 minutes long and we're not even at the second body. So how about I just upload this as it is, then you can watch this while I edit the second part. The only thing you have to do is to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell icon. And then you'll get notified when the second part is uploaded just in a few days, all right? Okay, I'll see you over there.